Hey there, I need a, a video and I don't have any ideas. Well, I have ideas, but they all require more work than this, a reaction video to Eric Fensler's G.I. Joe videos. Do you know what they are? If you don't know what they are, boy, are you in for a treat. I first heard of them, I think around 2005-ish, 4, 2005, somewhere in there. And they were early internet. This was like, there was no YouTube then, right? When was, I don't know. But it was early days and Anyways, this was very funny at the time. I haven't really watched it since, so I'm curious. Some of these, are they going to be funny still, or are they going to be like, ah, oh, that's so bad. We'll see. That's what I'm going to react to right now. Um, I think I've prepared you enough. Uh, I will pause and comment as, as the need be. Let's go. Is this thing recording? It is, okay. Oh, that's cool, I, I want to be able to check this out. Cool. Hey, can I try that? Hey, oh, what? Hey. Oh, you're not my friend. I'm just kidding with you. Hey man, who's that weird dude you're talking to, bro? <laughs> My friends are here. Oh, cool. So, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> First off, I just want to say that I love that even the Fensler, whoever, I think his name Eric Fensler, he hijacks these G.I. Joe um, PSAs, public service announcements that were at the end of the G.I. Joe cartoons. But instead of trying to give it like a story, he just creates these moments of you know, strangeness. <laughs> and they're different, each one of them. I don't know what Bronx Recon is that. I don't know what that is, what he's referring to. I don't know how many people also worked on this. Like, is this just one person doing all the voices or is it like, I get the impression it's like a group of college students or something. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> I want someone to take me to the hospital. You sure about that? Hey, who is in the army? army? Nice catch, Blanco Nino. But too bad your ass got sad. G.I. Joe! I think the sheer enthusiasm of the voices is what makes these work because <laughs> they just sound so sincere. Nice catch, Blanco Nino. And the sound effects. Oh man, check out that thing, man. What do you want to do with it? Let's launch over it. Who wants a body massage? I think that's Chef from South Park. That voice. Uh, what did he just say to us? Hello. Mr. Body Massage Machine. Go! Uh, what the hell? Body Massage. G.I. Joe! They're almost like to the point of like. Dada sometime, or surrealism of some sort. Chris, speaking of logs, I'm gonna take the Cosby kids down to the river. <laughs> wait, wait, just uh, like if you if you're watching this for the first time and you don't understand what he said, he says, "Speaking of logs, I'm gonna take the Cosby kids down by the river." So I don't know if that's kind of I don't know if that would fly in 2020. <laughs> uh, let's see. The bottom massage machine. Go. Uh, what the hell? Bottom massage. G.I. Joe! Chris, speaking of logs, I'm gonna take the Cosby kids down to the river. It's on your okay, sleeve, okay, okay. You, you fire on your sleeve! No, 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 no. Mm. Mm. You didn't take anything out of our tent, did you? 
when so when the Native American guy or as they refer to him the Indian uh, is like rolling the kid I was listening through the headphones it sounds like they looped that uh, animation but they also looped the audio because I'm hearing this it's like frog repeat uh, just a little uh, tidbit if you want to listen through uh, headphones I think you you can get some more out of that one but um, I think that was pretty funny that's one there's the penis pump that's no fair you're no holy cow I'm totally going so fast oh fuck fun Oh my yeah, God, I don't know what to do, what you mean? Hey, what the fuck are you kids doing on my fucking law? And don't look I'm at sorry. me when I'm fucking talking to you. Help, help, help Get that kid help. off my eyes, you oh, little wankers. Alright, give him the stick. Don't give him the stick. You know We're my sorry. dad? Oh, G.I. Joe. Alright, I want to say that one is probably... I can't remember, I haven't watched a lot of these, but... That is the one that I kind of remember as my favorite because it's what he does is he uses every second of the story to have some kind of joke or some kind of funny thing like get off my lawn and like when the two kids answer to him one of <clears throat> so I'm filming this and I got a call so I didn't take the call but it interrupted my video I have more important things to do let's get back to this <laughs> um. <coughs> Just look at the door, Johnny. Look. I like that one a lot. I get another uh, good one with headphones because the the way that guy's talking, I, I listening to it too, I, I can hear a little more closely. It sounded like it almost had uh, like a melody to it. Like maybe that was like a song excerpt that they just like chopped up to give it that sound effect. Um, but that was pretty great. That seemed like a lot of work for that one that, to make the kids blow up. I don't know animation, but that seemed like more work than some of these other ones. <laughs> You're not cooking. Yeah, do. <laughs> Pork chop sandwiches. Oh shit! Get the fuck out of here! What are you doing? Go! Get the fuck out of here, you stupid idiot! Fuck! We're all dead! Get the fuck out! My God, did that smell good? Detect it. This is no going, and you tell me do things. I done running. G.I. Joe! <laughs> so that one has two of the best catchphrases, I think. Pork chop sandwiches and you're not cooking. But uh, the ending with the kid who's clearly not, uh, you know, 100% is that probably, again, wouldn't pass in 2020. I don't know. But um, listening to this, the sound effect for the flame was really, I liked it. And I don't know if that was part of the original G.I. Joe cartoon or Fensler out of that, but I was impressed with that, that sound effect. These things impress me. I'm dead. Come here, you gotta see this. this is so cool. G.I. Joe! I think that's the shortest one, and a little bit of trivia I used that footage in my second marijuana firecracker uh, video. If you wanna check it out, how I repurposed it. I'll put a link down below. Onward. You're out! Oh, shit! Oh. Well, look what we got uh. That's right, Billy, I'm back and I want you! I'm not gonna fight. Why not that guy? Because I already had him. That's right, kids, I already had him. I don't think so. Hey, come here and... Yeah. Okay, I'll play. One. Two. Three.
okay, you won. It's such a surreal moment. Kind of had a decent idea, but I don't know, way, way too long. Like, they need to chop at least 30 seconds off of that. Oh, but I, I was going to say that's another catchphrase. Uh, it's right, Billy, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, we should totally hit it again, but I get first dibs on it. To me come on, first me nearly dead with laugh. I watch the people rush the door like a bash a choco. Fun time there, ya, time for the bus ride. Sunshine there, ya, a time for the bus ride. Sunshine there, ya, a time for the bus ride. Fun time there, ya, a time for the bus ride. No! G.I. Joe! So they completely changed the kid's voice. Like first it was... It's red until we get it, and then it was like that high pitched uh, chip monkey sound. And then the girl was just in the background blinking. That one was pretty funny for some very uh, out of the blue moments. Oh, this one's kind of weak, I think. There's no retarding team. Damage to the base is said to be heavy, and the Israeli jets are reported to have made it back to their headquarters. A 49-year-old unidentified man went berserk last night, opening fire with a 12-gauge shotgun in a crowded downtown restaurant. Fighting broke out overnight between rival factions along the Israeli-Syrian border. Initial reports claim Israeli jet fighters bombed a guerrilla base. Kill G.I. Joe! So, so I'm not laughing at the cartoon. I'm laughing because I noticed something again that I never noticed before listening to this through headphones. I was listening to the kind of the, the, the background noise of the kids playing the game screaming. I was listening to it really carefully and... I realized it's it sounds like real kids like playing and like yelling and that level of drama. I don't know if if Fensler actually recorded because it, but it also lined up perfectly when the soccer kids scored a goal in the GI Joe cartoon. So did he like was he actually having them speak or was he just did he just line that part up? I'll never know. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that one's pretty great, but it's also I can hear this helicopter coming in very much. It's just E to the step, just flip it, stick it, and see you later, bye. I don't think I can do that. You better bring it. What's up with you? Hey kids, did you happen to see a pink, uh, I want to say vinyl purse around here somewhere? Just dying to get my cigarettes. What are you talking about? Ain't nobody seen no... Damn. What? Damn. <laughs> Alright, that one is one of my favorites. Uh, if I didn't flinch 
when the girl went bah, it's because I've seen this so many times and I could pinpoint it. But uh, one of my other favorite catchphrases from this one, um, <laughs> you just flip it, stick it, see you later, bye. <laughs> now you listen to me, Aaron. You don't blow your money on the comic books, you understand? You don't do your damn bit of good. And the nude mags, you're going to be inherited mine when you're 16 anyway. Now look, the junk food and the candy just rots your teeth, give you bad breath, and the girls run like hell. Stay the hell away from buying any rock TV shirts or hip-hop gear or anything like that. Arcade games, pick out one that you can do, okay? One that you can do as opposed to a whole bunch of them that you don't know what the hell you're doing. Techno music just puts a hole in your brain. Are you listening to me? Look at me when I'm talking to you. Huh? What the hell? Get out of here. Oh, I don't want the pickle. What the hell? I just want to ride my nose. Man, I'm about to put the pressure button with the winner, man. <laughs> I don't want to die. Dude, I have no idea what you're I just want to ride my motorcycle. Cool. G.I. <laughs> Joe! <laughs> That's the best part of that one. Oh hell no! Nah. What's up, dog? <laughs> Iki. What? I'm a computer. Stop all the downloading. Help, computer. I don't know much about computers other than. Other than the one we got in my house, my mom put a couple games on there and I played. G.I. Joe! I think that may have been the first one that I ever saw, perhaps. And that opening, <laughs> that's sort of like another catchphrase that you can use whenever you see a, a dog. You can say, ah, hell, what's up, dog? Or what is it, whatever he says. Along with that, uh... You like it, you love it, you need it! Suck this! Huh? Uh, I'm out. Okay, I guess I'll go solo on the summit now. <laughs> oh yes! <laughs> oh my god! Who did? Are you in the army? If I had been in that water, dead. <laughs> it's really cold out here. <laughs> Bye! G.I. Joe! So, uh, the original G.I. Joe cartoon, it's like an eight foot deep pond or something, and there's this guy, they don't know he's been under the water. What? Just staring at them for 20 minutes? Hey, Kevin! How do we play this game? I'm glad you guys skipped the class today. We're having fun, aren't we? I want to play video games. We had a good conversation. <laughs> no. You, you're the ringleader. We're going to pass this day and go hey, get in that day. We're going to get in the school. We're going to get back in the school. We're going to get back in the school. I think I'm on my knees here. You know what I mean? G.I. Joe! That one is pretty funny. Oh, Brian's doing it again, dude. Brian, you ain't no pimp, dude. <laughs> Where's my money? That's my money. Man, you just jumped, motherfucker. And you see you how no ski and no stud on the long stand they like. I yo who he's gay son. Let's have ski no a cheese on the line. Get to the town to go away and get shy. Here go and get the car. Go away, little dagger. It's such a wonderful experience here with Andy. Get shy. Here go and hit the car. Go. G.I. Joe. Don't you want to touch that button, bitch? <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> hey guys, I don't know, you know, it's funny, these people, they go to sleep, they think everything's fine, everything's good, they wake up the next day and they're on fire. G.I. Joe! <laughs> at this point, I've never watched this many of them, I think, at once, because they start to blur into some alternate universe where bad things are constantly happening and then G.I. Joe people show up. On your mark, get set, go. Hey, what the fuck? No way! <laughs> Suck my dog, bitch! 
I believe I knew your mother, son. You know my mom? Would your name happen to be Johnny? Yeah. What's it been, 13 years? What? What? Fourteen? My lord. It's like I'm looking in a mirror. Does your mother still hang out at Dockside Bars? Dockside Bar? Johnny, do you play baseball? G.I. Joe! Not that pirate on, you don't see many people with pirates on their shoulder anymore. When did that go out? <laughs> I'm realizing as I watch these that these kind of textures are what I'd like to include in my uh, tarot readings to make them more, more surreal. Susie, don't forget your sandwiches. Hey, I made up? you sandwiches. Oh, you boys look so lovely in your little outfits. Hey, what's up, Miss Mr. Lafitti? <laughs> hey, watch me Ollie. Oh, I just want to eat you up. Love the tattoo, Mr. Lafitti. Look at all your different card hats. G.I. Joe! Okay, that guy is obviously flamboyantly gay and over the top ridiculous. I don't know if he would fly either nowadays, but uh <laughs> I, th I just love the part where he goes, Hi, Miss, uh, Mr. Finney. What's <laughs> はじめまして。2、3日したら電話をかけてください。ではまた。ちわらたしふずくる。あ、だんだんだけど、あんたに。ふふ。やるわ。I <laughs> 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 Hey, aren't you Buzz Lightyear? I love your movie. G.I. Joe! I think that's another one I would nominate for um, one of the best sound effects. Fucking old school. I don't know why this one's in this format. But this is not that good of Damn! These beats are so fresh! Snap! G.I. Joe! That one feels like an early one in a week. I guess that's the end. So, <laughs> thank you for joining me on this journey. Uh, through, uh, sorry, I had a message. Uh, through um, Eric Fensler's G.I. Joe films. I'll put a link down below if you want to watch them without my narration or, you know, better quality. I don't know how this... This is my first time... Is it my first time attempting to video? No, I did the campaign debate. Okay, never mind. I'll see you in the next video, maybe, or maybe I'll never see you again after this video. See ya.